Free first class flights, a $10,000 wardrobe, luxury hotel accommodations, plus a $300,000 payday. Well, sounds too good to be true, right? That's because it was. KCO 9's Jeff Nguyen joins us now more with on the fake contract fraud that's targeting reality TV stars. Good evening, Jeff. Good evening to you, Chris and Crystal. You know, it's a bait and switch that involves money transfers, but instead of being a Trojan horse, one reality TV star told us that was actually the Achilles heel of this scam. Hey, what, street, what street is this? Cove Colony. Cove. For years, Madison Hildebrand worked on big real estate deals on the cable TV show Million Dollar Listing uh, LA. I mean, but last month, he got an offer he says was too good to be true. So everything was done via email and details with bank information, which red flag, red flag. His business manager got this contract for a $300,000 speaking engagement in Dubai. The document had what claimed to be the letterhead of a sheik from the United Arab Emirates. The contract was spell-proof, grammar-proof, looked legit. Hildebrand and his team noticed a clause in the deal. It's similar to the one that targeted another reality TV star, Dog the Bounty Hunter. In a nutshell, the scammer would wire money to the victim but cancel the deal after five days. In return, the person being scammed would send money out of their personal account to cover the initial money transfer that wasn't on the up and up in the first place. My good money is now in their account. They cancel their bad money and I cannot find it. It's gone. The FBI says it's been investigating cases in which entertainment industry people have been scammed with promises of getting paid for trips to Indonesia. Hildebrand says even though his deal involved a trip to Dubai, he's not sure where the scheme originates. It's all done online. They're, in, they're invincible. And somebody's got somebody's to protect us. Hildebrand says that the five-day cancellation clause along with the wire transfer tipped him off because he says real estate agents are often confronted with these types of scams during the escrow process. Live in the newsroom, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.